Welcome to Colonel Basketball Weekly, featuring the head coaches of Nichols State University Basketball, J.P. Piper and Doobie Plaisance. Colonel Basketball Weekly is presented by State Farm. Contact your local State Farm agent today and get to a better state. Colonel Basketball Weekly is also sponsored by Rouse's Supermarkets. Rouse's, either you're local or you're not. Good afternoon and welcome to Colonel Basketball Weekly presented by State Farm Insurance. I'm your host, Mike Wagenheim. Coming into the year, Nichols basketball head coach J.P. Piper described his squad as the most talented, top to bottom, that he's had in his nine seasons leading the program. But a brutal non-conference schedule combined with countless games missed due to injury derailed the club's hopes for a landmark year. Still, though, the Colonels exceeded preseason expectations, earning the number five seed in last week's Southland Conference Tournament in Katy, Texas. Nichols would face a very familiar foe. The Colonels and eighth place McNeese State had gone to double overtime just days earlier in the regular season finale with the Colonels, with the Cowboys' Dante Cannon nailing the game winner at the horn. That was his second buzzer beater in Thibodeau in three seasons. Earlier in the year, Nichols and McNeese went down to the wire in Lake Charles with Nichols emerging a one-point winner. That's two games decided by a total of four points. We expected another good one in Katy, and we got it. Last Wednesday at the Merrill Center, and the Colonels looking to keep their season alive. And freshman T.J. Carpenter was an early spark plug. He knocked down a trifecta of three balls in the first four minutes, finishing the night with 14 points and seven boards. Colonels up six midway through the half. Cannon, though, Still a thorn in the Colonel's side, only five points by halftime, but he would come on late. All South and first team honoree Fred Hunter with a baseline J. The Colonel lead is four, about five minutes before the break. Two minutes until the intermission, Dan uh, Dantrell Thomas here relentless. He scored 10, Nichols up 33 to 28 at the half. It stays tight, under 14 to go in the game now. Jeremy Smith here for the Colonels. He can't hit the short J, but Hunter out-rebounds three Cowboys and finishes strong. Nichols up 41-38. to Now under eight minutes to play. And the Colonels with the basketball. Shane Relier in transition finds a trailing Smith. His only bucket, the Colonels hold a five-point edge. But at the six-minute mark, Cannon with his shot clock running down, the long three and the foul. This completely changed the game. Seconds later, McNeese held their first advantage. The lead would go back and forth. We're tied at 54 here, but a turnover. Cannon comes up with a loose ball, takes it himself, the scoop and the foul. Cowboys up by two at the 241 mark. Tied again at 58, final half minute. Cannon just took over down the stretch. Nichols falling 62 to 59. Fred Hunter with a 21 point, 10 rebound performance, but Cannon scored 23 for McNeese. The Colonels conclude their season with a nine and 21 mark. McNeese would lose in the second round to Southeastern Louisiana. Ultimately, Northwestern State eked out a win over Stephen F. Austin in the Southland Championship game on Saturday. The Demons head to Austin, Texas to take on Florida in the dance tomorrow. SFA received a ticket to the NIT. For Colonels head coach J.P. Piper, it's time for reflection and forward thinking. Uh, it's a tough way to finish the year. Uh, I think our guys, in particular Fred, feel like uh, they didn't play their best. Uh, I think Fred's probably a little too hard on himself. I thought he gave a great effort. Um, McNeese had a good game plan. Uh, they were going to make someone else beat them. Uh, the guys around Fred, I think, did their best to make plays. We just came up a little bit short. I thought um, you know, Dante Cannon had a huge bucket late in the game that um, you expect a senior point guard to make that kind of play, and he did, and that was probably the difference in the game. But um, I think it's a good sign for our program that we came home frustrated and disappointed because we felt like not only did we belong there, but we should have advanced there. And I think it's a good sign for our program going forward. When you look at the fact that we only lose Fred and Lyndon and that we have the bulk of our guys coming back, hopefully that's a good sign for us in terms of what we do at Katy uh, at the conference tournament in the future. Talk about losing Fred. You know, it seems like every couple of years you lose a first-team All-Southland player and you're able to find somebody and plug him right into the mix again. Wh who's next? Yeah, it's a good question. I, I, uh, I think that y you would probably look toward Dantrell, and possibly Sam um, and some of these freshmen uh, showed a lot of promise at times. Amin and 
Jamarcus and Theodore Carpenter all had moments where they looked really good and looked like all conference caliber players. So, um, you know, we're going to go recruit hard and try to find the next Fred Hunter, if you will. Uh, but we've also got some guys within our program that I think are poised to step up and and uh, help us fill the gap. I don't think you fill, and I said this about Tolley, I don't think you fill uh, that void with one person. Uh, it's going to be a team effort to cover what Fred did for us. And uh, fortunately, we got enough guys coming back that understand what it takes. I think we can do that. Obviously, key to that is going to be remaining healthy. And Lockman Press, Sam McBeth missed pretty much the entirety of this campaign with injuries. If you're healthy next year, if you're healthy, how do you see it all playing out? Well, I'd like to think that we are competing for a conference championship. Uh, I don't know what to expect with so many new teams coming into the league. Uh, but when you look at what other teams are losing and what we're bringing back, uh, I think we'll figure in the mix. Where exactly we'll fall out remains to be seen. But um, you know, I think we'll have steady guard play. I think we'll have inside scoring. I think we'll have some shooters. So uh, if we'll defend and rebound, we should have everything we need to be competitive every night. And um, some of it will depend on the chemistry of our team next year and how those guys come together and, and execute what the coaching staff wants done on the floor. But um, I'm confident we'll be able to put a good product on the floor. What are you going to miss about this year's version? I'm going to miss Fred and Lyndon. Uh, wonderful kids. Uh, I'm excited about them starting the next chapter in their life, but uh, we'll miss them. We'll miss what they bring. Um, and, you know, I'm pretty tough on those guys in practice every day but but love them to death and um, they've been a big part of my life for the last several years so they'll definitely be a void there for me last year you defeated Lamar they went on to a south and title this season you handed Northwestern State a home loss they go on to a south and title so th the tools are there it just needs to be carried throughout the season well I think it's important to mention that Northwestern beat us here in the last minutes of the game we we're down starters we had guys out with injuries Shane in particular starting point guard so um, we went toe to toe with the best teams in this league and I think we can do that again next year we just need to stay healthy and um, hopefully knock on wood we can do that next year all right coach we're looking forward to it already thanks so much thank you Mike the head coach of the Colonels JP Piper will have more on Fred Hunter and the women's basketball team on the other side of this timeout stay with us you're tuned in to Colonel Basketball Weekly presented by State Farm Insurance does State Farm let me bundle auto, home, and life to save money? Sure. We practically invented bundling. And it all stays with State Farm. So my policies don't go to some bundling center. <laughs> that ships them off to some bundle factory. <laughs> I'm dealing with you and not some bungling, bustling bundle builders. Who have you been working with? Stay with the company you trust. Bundle and save with your local State Farm agent. At Rouse's, we love football. We love the players, we love the fans, and you know we love the food. So whether it's high school, college, or pros, if there's a game, we're tailgating. You can tackle your tailgate, too, with one stop by Rouse's. Get Rouse's ready to grill meat, chicken, and pork, or pick up Rouse's ready to serve tailgate specials. Everything is made fresh for the game, and you know it's all good. So get the home field advantage every time you shop. Shop local. Shop Rouse's. Now that's tailgate. Back with you on Colonel Basketball Weekly, presented by State Farm Insurance. Unfortunately, the end of the year means saying goodbye to the senior class, and the Colonel's men's basketball team bids farewell to one young man who has given the Southland Conference fits and earned respect from top-tier coaches around the country. Ashley Dufran has more. In 2008, the Colonels didn't expect one of their recruits to be a breakout star, but five straight Southland Conference tournament appearances later, Senior Fred Hunter has made an impact on every team he's been a part of. When recruiting Fred out of Denton High School in Denton, Texas, head coach J.P. Piper didn't expect Hunter to be effective right away, but Piper loves what he has turned out to be. We saw some things there that we liked. We knew that there was a lot of potential there. Um, wasn't sure how it was going to translate. Um, you know, you never know how hard a young man's going to work. Um, I would have to say, honestly, he is... Uh, done far more than we thought he would do on the front end. I wish I could tell you we saw all this. I, I didn't. And for him uh, in his final campaign to be doing what he's doing on the block at 6'5 is really, really impressive. While the team appreciates Hunter's personal accomplishments, he's also been a tremendous help in assisting the underclassmen to improve their games. On the court, 
he's very focused. He showed me that there has to be an intense edge about being on the court and you have to set aside playing and being serious on the court. He tell me, you know, little little things that help my game, you know, better my game. He'll tell me, you know, little things about my defense, uh, my shot, uh, getting to the goal and like getting on certain little areas on the court that, uh, you know, help me get uh, get our team an uh, easy basket or, uh, you know, get a person an uh, easy basket themselves. You look at our freshman class this year with Jamarcus and Theodore Carpenter and uh, Amin Torres. Those guys are talented players. And, you know, when they came to visit, they got to spend time with Fred. I think they're here in part because of Fred's influence on them. And you look at the impact they've had for us on the floor. Again, I think you got to give Fred credit for that. Not only have teammates and staff recognized Fred's ability, but so have coaches from other teams that the Colonels faced throughout the year. I know after the Lamar game, Coach Knight, Pat Knight, grabbed him in the line and, and said, hey, big boy, you, you, you really got it going. And, and you, you need to continue to push yourself and grow your game and develop. Hunter has a special connection with his coaches and teammates. The relationships they share are very close. Coaches are, um, they're like, I um, guess you could kind of say father figures, like look up to them, take a lot of advice from them, they teach you a lot. And all the players, they're, um, they're just basically like my brothers. We've got a close bond and they're all like family, so I'm going to miss playing with them. Over the past five seasons, many of memorable moments have come along, but Hunter points out those that will stick with him forever. When I tore my ACL, because that's, that's a lot of stuff. It just changed a lot of stuff for me and about me. It made me see a lot of stuff. I think it made me a better basketball player. I know my freshman year is probably one of like my best years because we had a good bond and we beat a lot of teams. And we were winning a lot that season. And I know the year we beat LSU, that was a good year because it's LSU and you're not really expected to beat them, and we beat them. While Fred has left memories, he also made some for Colonel fans. He started his career as the Southern Conference Freshman of the Year and leaves as a member of the all Southern first team as a senior. After leading the league in scoring, while sitting in the top five in rebounding, offensive rebounds, steals, and field goal percentage, leaving a mark on the club is just what Hunter has done. The immediate thing that comes to mind when you talk about Fred's legacy is that He's the only player in Nichols basketball history who's been to five, a part of five consecutive postseason teams. Uh, Fred was fortunate to come into our program at a time when it was pretty good, and we were able to go to the postseason his freshman year. He was freshman of the year that year, and um, he continued to develop, emerged as a leader, and has been an important force in us going back to the Southland Conference each and every year that he's been a part of the program. Fred has made an impact on his coaches and teammates that they will always be thankful for, and they have nothing but best wishes for Hunter. It's for him to do as well as he can overseas. Well, hopefully he get over. Well, that's not hopefully. I know he's getting overseas. It's just that he have to, you know, keep going in the, the direction that direction that he's going at right now, and just stay on the same path and make sure that nothing goes wrong. What makes him even more impressive is that he did get a degree in four years. He's in grad school right now. Um, so he'll leave here with hours toward a master's. Um, you know, it, it is time to sit him down and thank him for what he's done and what he's meant to our program. And, um, and I will certainly do that. Over a five year period, the impact Fred Hunter is leaving behind on this program is like no other, as he departs as one of the best players to ever wear a Colonel uniform. For Colonel Basketball Weekly, I'm Ashley Dufresne. Thanks, Ashley. Speaking of some great Colonel players, we want to pass on congratulations to Reggie Jackson, recently named the Southland Conference Player of the 1990s. The Baker, Louisiana native was a 1995 Conference Player of the Year and the Freshman of the Year in 1992. He led the Colonels to their first of two championships as a senior in 1995, the same season Nichols made its first of two trips to the NCAA tournament. Reggie led the conference in scoring in 95, led the league in rebounding in 92 and 93. He's one of only three Colonels to score more than 2,000 career points, second on the all-time rebounding list, and second in conference history in that category. Joining Jackson on the all-1990s team from Nichols, 
three-time first-team all-conference forward Kenrick Franklin, guard Gerard King, and forward Jason McCutcheon. The Colonels well represented on that list. Now, the Colonel women's basketball team entered last week's Southland Conference Tournament on a high note. With a win over McNeese State in the regular season finale, Nichols had clinched the number four seed and with it, a first round bye. Coincidentally, the Cowgirls defeated Northwestern State in the first round of the tournament, so Nichols and McNeese would meet again on Thursday. Nichols had already defeated McNeese twice on the year, but it's oh so difficult to sweep three meetings. Last Thursday morning, the Merrill Center in Katy, first minute, Ashlyn Baggett gets to the bucket. McNeese, despite playing 24 hours earlier, came out energized. Four minutes in now, Jenny Nash with the bounce to KK Babbitt. She hits the jumper, Colonels are down one. Then Alicia Allen coming up with a runner off the glass, plus the foul. It's eight all at the 14 minute mark. Allen with 17 points on seven of 14 shooting from the field. Late first half, Caitlin back at Ashland's twin, dishes to Jalen Johnson for the corner three. McNeese up seven. They went eight of 15 from downtown. Caitlin Baggett once again over the top of the defense here to Cecilia Okoye. The Cowgirls built a 14-point lead, went into halftime up 11. Okoye with a big game. Baggett recorded eight assists. Second half, Colonels playing catch-up. Babin drives, flips to Hope Pulowski. Eight points for Hope. The deficit is eight with 13 minutes left. A semifinal meeting against Aura Roberts hanging in the balance. Nichols had advanced to the semis last year, but McNeese wasn't going to let the Colonels back in. Johnson with a hoop and foul. The free throw puts the Cowgirls up 15 with seven minutes left. Caitlin Baggett with a tough paint jumper, 11 points for her. Final three minutes now, Ashlyn Baggett off the mark here, but Okoye cleans it up. McNeese shot 53%. Imani White led Nichols with 18 points. Babin with 16 and five helpers. It's not enough. 86 to 70 the final. McNeese was bounced by Oral Roberts in the next round. The Golden Eagles went on to win the Southland title in their first year in the league. Nichols finished at 19 and 11, shattering the team record for victories. It also marked the first winning program, a winning season rather, in program history. But it's not enough for head coach Doobie Plaisance. Well, obviously, um, our, our exit uh, had uh, envisioned a little bit different. Um, but like I said in my post-game interview, uh, credit to McNeese. And, you know, they were a determined group that night. And there wasn't much they put up that they could miss. However, uh, in terms of our play, uh, I was very proud of the fight we had. We did make runs in them. We didn't uh, just lay down and die. Um, and, you know, I think that was indicative to how we've played all year. You know, we had our runs during the year. And one of the most glorious things about this group of young women is, you know, there's no quitting them. They will continue to fight the good fight. And um, they will always be persistent in that, you know, th they're competitors. And we're always looking to uh, Im improve and get better and, and I think they did that throughout the year. I, I didn't think there was any regression even though like, like I said mentioned earlier we went on a few runs in the season but I don't think it was a regression. It was like a bump in the road. <laughs> you mentioned uh, the team and their matchup against McNeese. You know you always throw out there we expect to win and with the team making a semifinal run last year and already owning two wins over McNeese this year do you think maybe the girls were just looking at a little bit too far ahead? Absolutely not. Not even close. You know we have we know anytime we get on the floor with them it is going to be a battle. And it was a situation where it, the, the, the style of play was very aggressive and the uh, aggressive style of play in that particular game was very, um, uh, it worked for them and it worked in their favor. And, uh, but, but although, you know, defensively, I felt like there were many a times we were in great coverage. They were just knocking down super shots. Then there were times that we, we were not as clean off our hedging or uh, our switching on our screens. But at the end of the day, there isn't in any way, shape, or form we were overlooking these, uh, overlooking McNeese because it is a war battle. I mean, it is world war. Whatever time, how many times we played them, that's how many times it's a war when we go to battle with them. It really is becoming a great rivalry. 19 wins on the season. Looking back a little bit, what can you tell me about this year, how, to, how it played out and how it, it matched up with your expectations? Well, obviously in terms of my expectations, um, uh, looking back at the conference tournament, since I walked into Thibodeau, essentially I, I expect to win the conference tournament. Um, 
I believe that's why they hired me. <laughs> so a little bit of a letdown there, but in terms of just our overall progression and just the, the way our women persevered all year, we had numerous obstacles to overcome during the year, and it, they just kept showing their resilience. And um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm so blessed to have not only the structure that we have in place here, the, the nucleus, we're going to be losing um, a great one in Alicia Allen, but what we have returning and then what we have coming in, when I tell you the future is like beaming bright at Nichols. It's beaming bright at Nichols. All right, Coach, thanks so much. We'll talk to you again soon. Thanks a lot, Mike. Appreciate you. The head coach of the Colonels, Doobie Plaisance. We'll be back with more Colonel Basketball Weekly presented by State Farm Insurance right on the other side of this break. Does State Farm let me bundle auto, home, and life to save money? Sure. We practically invented bundling. And it all stays with State Farm. So my policies don't go to some bundling center. <laughs> that ships them off to some bundle factory. <laughs> I'm dealing with you and not some bungling, bustling bundle builders. Who have you been working with? Stay with the company you trust. Bundle and save with your local State Farm agent. At Rouse's, we love football. We love the players, we love the fans, and you know we love the food. So whether it's high school, college, or pros, if there's a game, we're tailgating. You can tackle your tailgate, too, with one stop by Rouse's. Get Rouse's ready to grill meat, chicken, and pork, or pick up Rouse's ready to serve tailgate specials. Everything is made fresh for the game, and you know it's all good. So get the home field advantage every time you shop. Shop local. Shop Rouse's. Now that's tailgating. Nichols State University is taking education on the road, the information superhighway. If you are unable to come to campus, we are bringing the campus to you. Study at home and graduate quicker with Nichols Online. No more going to class around the school's schedule. Go to class online around your schedule. All of your courses are taught by qualified Nichols State University professors who are experts in their fields. To take that step, go to nichols.edu slash nicholsonline or email nicholsonline at nichols.edu. Welcome back to Colonel Basketball Weekly presented by State Farm Insurance. There's plenty going on around Nichols Athletics away from the hardwood. Pamela Johnson tells us all about it. One Colonel program is all business as it heads into the heart of conference play while another got a chance to have some off-season fun. None of it though would be possible without the generous contributions of those recently honored by the university. Over the weekend, the Nichols women's tennis team battled two tough competitors back-to-back -back in Southland Conference play. The Colonels took on Lamar Saturday, falling to the visitors 4-3. The club returned the next day to defend their home court against McNeese State and did just that. Nichols defeated the Cowgirls 5-2, improving their overall record to 10-6. The girls come from a program where they won. When you win, uh, you know, when you win enough number of times, you know what it takes to win. And uh, unfortunately, this program hasn't won enough, but the girls know what it takes to win and win in close matches. Sometimes it's not always the best team that wins. With a month remaining in the regular season, the Colonels will return to the court next Friday to host Sam Houston, which currently holds a 4-7 and seven record. Well, I just think we're a really good team this year and that we can really do something. And the, we've not shown the people exactly what we can do and it's still to come. Also on Saturday, the Nichols football program took a break from its spring activities to hit the hardwood for the annual Nichols football all-star basketball classic at Stouffer Gym. The event consisted of a three-on-three -three tournament as well as a three-point free throw and slam dunk contest in which the coaching staff participated along with the players. The purpose of the event was to promote unity within the program. But really what it is is a team bonding activity. Just to get out here and have some good fun, doesn't take all their day, and just again try to get stronger as a team, care about each other very much, and just again have some fun. 
from today, a lot of bonding, uh, getting to know some guys maybe that you don't that you haven't known. Because with the current elite uh, program that Coach Stubbs does, it puts us all together with maybe some guys we don't know on the team, some guys we're not as comfortable with, and it, it helps us bond and uh, really, like I said, just build that team camaraderie that we're looking for. The previous Saturday, three longtime supporters of Colonel Athletics were honored at the fifth annual Nichols Athletics Hall of Distinction ceremony. The event was held in Bollinger Memorial Student Union. Tommy Williams, Mitch Thompson, and the late Harvey Pelchase Sr. were recognized for their contributions toward enhancing the quality of the student-athlete experience through gifts of service, time, and treasure. I played college baseball a long time ago, and I, that was one of the most memorable experiences I had in college. So I wanted it to be the same thing for these kids here. So we started going out, trying to raise money to buy the food, get sponsors, and uh, I've been having a blast. You know, and, and we know all the kids really enjoy what we do for them, which is why I'm going to keep doing this as long as I can keep walking. You know, so. For Colonel Basketball Weekly, I'm Pamela Johnson. Thanks, Pamela. Folks, it's time to announce our Rouse's Student Athlete of the Week, sponsored by Rouse's Supermarkets. You're either local or you're not. Rouse's Supermarkets are local with their roots established in Thibodeau in 1923. Trust Rouse's for great food and great values. Louisiana's best can be found at your local Rouse's or at Rouse's.com. This week, it's Parisian Malou from women's tennis. The senior from India won both of her matches at number one singles and did so in number one doubles as well, teaming with Natalia Carter. Cardiff. That pair hasn't lost in a doubles match all year. Nice work, Parisia. In addition, we want to congratulate Taylor Bird from the baseball team. He was named the Southland Conference Pitcher of the Week, helping the Colonels clinch their series at San Jose State on Sunday with a 9-1 victory. Taylor, with a complete game, gave up an earned run, five hits, eight strikeouts. His ERA now 1.97. A reminder, folks, the Seth Thibodeau Show with head baseball coach Seth Thibodeau will premiere in this time slot coming up next week. Well, folks, there are plenty of ways to keep up with the Colonel men's and women's basketball teams, even though the season is now over. You can keep up with all of our teams through our social media outlets, facebook.com slash go colonels, twitter.com slash colonel sports, youtube.com slash Nichols athletics. And make sure whenever you post on Facebook or Twitter, do so with our hashtag go colonels. Folks, again, Tickets available for baseball and softball for the remainder of the year. Give us a call, 985-448-4790. That's 985-448-4790. The baseball team opens up conference play this weekend against Stephen F. Austin. The softball team already in the thick of Southland Conference action. And you can check out our website 24-7 for the latest off-season news on basketball and to really to keep track of all of our programs here, all the latest news and updates, gocolonels.com. Check it out early in the day, late in the day, and a few times in between. We always have fresh information there for you. G-E-A-U-X, gocolonels.com. That is going to do it for Colonel Basketball Weekly, presented by State Farm Insurance. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll talk to you next week on The Seth Thibodeau Show. Today's show has been presented by State Farm. Contact your local State Farm agent today and get to a better state. This show has also been sponsored by Rouse's Supermarkets. Rouse's, either you're local or you're not. This has been a presentation of the Colonel Sports Network.